A Knoxville mom surprised her two daughters this Christmas with a gift of their lifetime. At least the kids sure thought it was. Tickets to see Taylor Swift, the heiress tour, in Nashville tomorrow. It's the girls' favorite artists, their first concert ever, but just two days before the show, the seller backed out of giving them the tickets. Our Ellie Bird talked to their mom about this situation. On Christmas Day, as soon as my girls opened the gift, the conversation started about what are we going to wear? What era are we going to be? What are the color schemes? What are the outfits? Amy Martin won Mother of the Year when she surprised her 11 and 7 year old daughters with their first concert tickets to the Taylor Swift Eras Tour. She purchased the tickets on StubHub in November and had a confirmation email sent to her immediately. And for the past six months, have believed that we were attending the concert. However, on Wednesday, May 3rd, less than 48 hours before the concert on Friday, May 5th in Nashville, I got an email from StubHub and they said, unfortunately, your seller can't provide the tickets. Martin rushed to customer service for help. But they did say, however, your tickets are guaranteed. So everything's fine. Click this link and find alternative tickets. However, when I went to the link, it said there were no suitable options for me. At the time Martin bought the tickets, they were already pricey. After fees, the three tickets were around $600 a piece. Now tickets are going for more than $1,200 each. StubHub said her best option was to get a full refund in seven to 10 days. And I told them over and over again, I don't want the money. I want my seats. And I feel like this is your responsibility to make right. Um, just replace it and eat the difference of cost because I was guaranteed seats. And funnily enough, when you call StubHub, it says we are with you every step of the way all the way to your seat. StubHub is a resale site, so you are dealing with a third party seller. The Better Business Bureau of Knoxville says legally the sellers can decide not to sell the tickets. If I had tickets I wanted to sell, I could go to StubHub and put those out there and then somebody could purchase them. And StubHub tries to go through and, and confirm all, all of that. But uh, that's, that's a little funny when you've got tickets, you think you've got them and then a day or two before they get ripped out of you. I've, I've, I've not heard of that before. StubHub's website states it's okay to list tickets you own but don't have in your possession yet, as long as you're absolutely certain you will have them on the date you give when listing the tickets. If you break these rules, there are consequences on their website. In Knoxville, Ellie Bird, WVLT News. And Martin and her daughter say they still don't have tickets for the concert tomorrow night in Nashville, but some of you have already tried to help this family, so we will pass along the information on how to do that.